Time once again to check on the latest earnings trends with Zach's Director of Equity Research, Dirk Van Dyke. Dirk, as we sit here now trying to uh, anticipate what we might see in the Q1-09 reporting season, still getting distressed signals from the, uh, the corporate earnings front almost on a daily basis. Have the bottom-up analysts really cut their estimates enough yet? No. Uh, I, I seriously think that when all is said and done, we're at this point probably lucky to make it to 50 bucks for 09 and even more so for, for 2010. I think people are still way too optimistic uh, about an economic recovery in 2010. I, well, let me rephrase it, about the strength of the economic recovery in, in 2010. So probably 50 this year, maybe 60 next year. Uh, and, uh, you know, we're a long ways from that. Can the stock market get healthy again and recover on a sound footing before we see that health restored to corporate earnings? Um, traditionally, you, you have seen that uh, in that the, the stock market is a leading indicator of the economy where corporate earnings are generally uh, coincident or slightly lagging to the overall health of the economy. Uh, but you've had an awful lot of confidence that's been shattered here, so it may be slower as, as people, you know, really sort of come from Missouri and, and want to have uh, people to, to show me right. uh, before they, they really jump back in. A lot more sales growth pressure during this uh, economic downturn. Yeah, well, I mean, when you're losing 650,000 jobs a, uh, a month and... Uh, yeah, we, well, technically we slightly less in February than January, but that yeah. was because January got revised way down. Right. But and I don't see anything like that really stopping. And you know, February will probably be revised up in terms of, of job losses as well. That you know, if you're unemployed, you don't spend. Well, these are the worst corporate earnings. Correct me if I'm wrong. Worst corporate earnings that we've seen in 50 years, more than 50 years. Yeah, I, I think it's safe to say that you, you have to go back to FDR to, to find this sort of collapse in, in earnings, uh, you know, particularly on an operating basis. All right, that being the case, what are the two main negative impacts going forward here into Q1 that are going to be pressuring corporate earnings? Uh, the first one would be the the slack economy that leads to lower sales growth. Um, the second would probably be the, the strength of the dollar and the weakness of the world economy, uh, which we mean currency translation effects, and that's leaving aside any more write-offs in the, the financial system. You know, mm -hmm. But keep, treat that as a special case. So looking ahead to the first quarter here, every sector, you say, expected to see a decline in total net income relative to the first quarter of 08, with two exceptions? Uh, well, n actually, no. In every quarter, everyone will be down for the first quarter. There were two exceptions in the fourth quarter. Oh, I see. Okay. Uh, Health care and consumer staples. Okay. Both of those will be down, but a lot less than the rest of the market. Overall, we're, we're talking about a 35% uh, year over year decline. Okay, so corporate earnings for Q1 09 versus Q1 08 on the aggregate down what 15 16 uh, percent on the aggregate? Uh, no, about 35 percent. 35 percent. Yeah, that's a big number. Yes, it is. Uh, now, uh, the actual number for the fourth quarter, uh, thanks to our good friends at the black hole known as AIG, we're we're down. Uh, Fifty-seven and a half percent. So that uh, it is an improvement. Uh, uh, you know, assuming that that you know AIG doesn't post another, you know, <laughs> sixty billion. And who who knows at this point? Right. A lot of analysts. I shouldn't say a lot. Some analysts are looking for a leveling off in Q3. Are you in that camp? Uh, no. Uh, I. I yeah, we'll get a little bit of help from the, the stimulus bill, but I don't see any real drivers to get this economy moving again. Historically, the first part of the economy that starts to improve is residential investment. You've got to be a lunatic to, to think that we're going to have a strong rebound in, in housing and, and new home construction. 
uh, this time around. You know, durable goods also, uh, you know, yeah, eventually you'll get some pent-up demand in autos and, and things like that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, autos last a lot longer now than they, they used to. Uh, we're not going to export our way out of it because the rest of the world is arguably in worse shape than we are. Uh, what is that? That doesn't leave a lot. Businesses aren't going to be investing in a period of slack demand. You know, who would build a factory uh, now? So uh, bottom line, no leveling off in Q3. No, I, I think really if you, you might see some uh, really anemic positive growth in the fourth quarter followed by, you know, fairly anemic uh, growth. I mean, this sort of consensus is 2.5% growth in, uh, in 2010. I think that's uh, extremely optimistic. I think it will be positive, but more like the the one percent right. growth, which will lead to still higher unemployment. We're going to leave it right there. If you would like to have all of the blanks filled in with numbers in the current scorecard uh, recap that Dirk puts together for us every week, go to zax.com. Scroll down till you see the uh, earnings trends headline right next to Dirk's picture, and that link will take you right to his latest commentary, which has all of those blanks filled in with numbers and more commentary than we have time here for. With Dirk Van Dyke, I'm Terry Rucolo.